good, you all? I'm back. Podcast 16. Uh, this man's birthday was yesterday. Big two zip. Yo. Uh, so yeah, hey, man getting old. I'll be turning 20 soon, but... Yeah, so happy birthday to the man. Thank uh, you, thank you. Yeah, so this, this week a little, a little later, but it's understandable, though, because yeah. it's a big day. But all that being said, let's just jump straight into it. And like always, we talk a little college basketball first. And uh, so did you see this about, about the girl just going insane? Like, no. So I think it's Ayoka Lee. Who? Of Kansas State, uh, women's team. She scored 61 in a, in a game. Oh, my gosh. And that, that's just crazy. So that broke the record for the, the girls' college scoring, which is just nuts. Because I don't even know who scored that before. But 61 is just ridiculous. Yeah. I don't even know. I feel like. So there, there are four quarters. And it's like like eight, eight minutes. So 32, 32 minutes. 32 minutes. This woman. Even if. All right. So give it the benefit of the doubt. Because I don't know. Ten minutes. You got 40 minutes if she's worth 61. That's just ridiculous. So big shout out to her. Uh, but then, keeping it in Kansas, Kansas men, uh, they played a, a top 25 matchup and went to overtime with Texas Tech. And it was a great game. I think it was, it might have been double OT, I don't know. Uh, I, I should have done my research. But it was a good game. Uh, and then UCLA beat Arizona in a top 10 matchup by like a lot. 75-59. But... It wasn't even that close, is what I heard. Uh, but yeah, and Arizona was ranked three at the time, and their only loss was to the Vols going into that game. So that's a big win. Yeah. But um, so one of the teams I hate the most, Louisville. Uh, they're now, so they're out. I hate to bash on the university, but it, it's what I do as a Kentucky fan. So they're out of president. They're out of athletic director. They're just dog. It, it's just they're down bad. Uh, yeah. And, you know, I feel bad for some Louisville fans, but I, I don't feel bad for the, <laughs> the annoying ones. But now they're out their head basketball coach. I'm not going to be here. Yeah. Um, and he's a great guy, like I was saying. But, um, yeah, I don't know who they're going to get. And honestly, if you think about it, Louisville basketball is probably like a top – it's easily top ten job in the country because – uh, Matt Jones on KSR made a great point. When you're the head coach of Louisville basketball, you're literally the most important man in the city. Like, which we that is true. Near Louisville, so we kind of can see that. Like yeah. when Rick Pitino was the head coach, nobody even knew. Like, if you're the head basketball coach of Louisville, nobody knows who Greg Fisher right. is, right. and he's literally the mayor. So I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. Yeah, you. It's a good job. Yeah, you can sell that to anybody. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so rumors are that they get Bruce Pearl uh, from Auburn. And, um, I don't know, I guess we'll have to see how it plays out, but just sad, because whoever they get, their career's over. There they go. <laughs> they got to go to the Dirty Birds, so, I don't know, I guess we'll see how it goes. A little Kentucky basketball, um, we won in a close game at Texas A&M, and then, it was, I mean, it was a great win, because on the road there, uh, they also broke the record for the most people in their arena, ever. So, I mean, what more can you say? It was tough, too. Uh, battling injuries, whatnot. Uh, but yeah, so that's a good win for the Cats. And then we we play Auburn right after that. Like I was talking in the last podcast, it's gonna be a tough game. Everybody in the country knew it. It was literally one of the most watched games in all of college basketball this year. Uh, number two, I think they were at the time, and then we were twelve. Uh, and we ended up losing eighty to seventy one. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand. No. But Auburn's number honestly, one now, right? Yeah. Did you watch this game? No. So, literally, we were up nine. Ty Ty gets hurt. That that's it. Yeah, I heard y'all had a lot of yeah. injuries. Or like y'all are not healthy right now. And severe Wheeler got hurt twice that game. And so like, yeah. When we're healthy, I honestly think we're a title contender. It's just like when we're not healthy. I don't know. It's just hard. But yeah, we stayed at uh, rank twelfth. Um, and then, do you know who Shane Sharp is? Mm. I, f- I forgot to mention this so many times. Have you ever heard of him? That sounds familiar. So he was class of 2022, so he's a senior this year in high school. And he was the number one player in the class. And then he um, he committed to Kentucky and then enrolled early. So he enrolled like late December. 
And so he's been practicing with the team, and apparently he's gotten a lot better. So the rumors were that he was going to play uh, Tuesday against Mississippi State, but didn't end up playing. But it's just crazy because this dude's like 18. Like, yeah. He's literally – but he's projected to be the eighth pick in the draft right now. And so he's eligible for the, for the draft after this year. And so if we don't play him this year, we may never see him play in a Kentucky uniform. What? And that's sad. He says he's so, going to return, but he's eligible for the draft. And, I mean, if somebody sits you down so, and they're like, we will give you millions of dollars to just play basketball, like you can't turn that yeah. down. I mean, he's making a bunch of NIL money, but I don't know. That'd but be hard. Has he played a college game? No. And he's projected to go eighth in the draft. In the draft. That's how good he is. He's insane. But they've never seen him play a college game. No. That... That's he's insane though. Like I'm telling you, like he's he plays or he's from Canada, and then he played for um, I might be wrong. Bradley Bills AAU team. I don't know, but he was insane. Like he was the number one player, and then he I don't know what he is now in this in the 2021 class, but yeah, he was the number one player. So he's insane. Huh. But I really want to see him play because he's literally like. He's not like anything. He doesn't do anything like crazy. Like he's not Zion. He's not LeBron. That kills me though. Like, how can you be projected to go eighth if you've never played a college game? Like, you're not you're not LeBron. Yeah, like, <laughs> I don't know. But he's like six three something. He can score from anywhere. Like he's got a forty nine inch vertical, uh, and he can, he shoots lights out from three. Like, he'd be a great addition to this year's team, especially with Tata being injured a lot. But yeah, I don't know. But so, like I said, Tuesday we played Mississippi State. Went to overtime, unfortunately. We were up 16 in the second half, and then we went to overtime. Uh, but ended up pulling out the dub. So, yeah. that's all that matters. And uh, the next game for the Cats is at Kansas. Bruh. In uh, the Big 12 SEC Challenge. That's going to be tough. That's going to be such a hard game. Like, <laughs> gosh, that's like a must. It, it's not a must win, but we just need a good road win. Like, yeah. Yeah. Just yeah, we we could have won at Auburn if we were healthy. I truly believe it. No. But I don't know. And let me just go on record saying this. Um, Kate saw it a little bit. I hate Auburn fans at this point. <laughs> like I don't even hate Auburn University, but wow, like nothing. I'm sure that I'm sure Auburn fans are great people, but I mean Auburn's having one good year, and they think. They, like, invented basketball. Or like, it's insane. It drives me crazy. Like, I've been in so many arguments with Auburn fans. It's, it's immature of me, but I don't even care. Like, they're getting on my last nerves. Like, <laughs> man, yeah. But I just have to say that for a second. Uh, yeah. Just had to get that on my chest. <laughs> like, I just, I'm, I don't have a problem with them, but just, like, yeah, like, I just know how annoying. They're just like, so annoying. They are. But, and, so, I got in an argument the other day. When this guy was like, we're more relevant than Kentucky basketball. And I was like, you will never be more relevant. Than more Kentucky. relevant. Just for because. Real. Okay, so that's more like relevant. Cincinnati, for an example, just because maybe at some point they're ranked higher than Bama, that they're more relevant than Bama in football. Like, <laughs> that's like idiotic. That's like bad. Dude, that's like, yeah. That's terrible. But What the heck? Tennessee, man. Tennessee basketball. Uh. Down goes the Gators. I know y'all probably saw it on social media somewhere, but a little, a little scuffle, a little fight. Uh, at the end of the game, I had the balls waving them by, chomping them by, you know what I'm saying? I don't think they like that too much, but hey, it is what it is. Got, got a the little dub. heated. <laughs> got a little heated in the ring, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but now, Saturday, we play Texas uh, for the SEC Big 12 uh, game. So that'll be exciting. That's yeah, at yeah, Texas, yeah. so that's going to be... Yeah, a rough, rough road game. But so, Kentucky, Tennessee, we both got a rough game coming up. But, you know, teams like Auburn, you know, the greatest team ever, apparently, to them, <laughs> they play Oklahoma at home. Yeah, we forgot, guys. Auburn's Aww. the best team ever uh, that's ever existed. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now! Stop. Like, I've oh, never had cool. an issue with Auburn until now. Like, and it's not even, like... I accepted the loss. I was like, oh, if we're healthy, we may win that game. But the fact that, oh, gosh, like, it's just bad. But
but yeah. Health wasn't even again. Healthy? Yard. Yard. There. Here. <laughs> Seattle. Your mom's house. <laughs> China. We'll beat them. Like, gosh, dude. It drives me crazy. Yeah. But. No, I think if y'all played them again, it, it would not be the same. I hope we meet up with them in the SEC Championship. Ooh. That would be awesome. Imagine. And then I hope we beat the brakes off of them. I think Tennessee's sitting four right now in the SEC. I think y'all are yeah. two, two, three, yeah. two, three, two. two. And then I think I want to say Mississippi State or Texas A&M is like third. Yeah. Or so it's like somebody weird, like you wouldn't even expect it. But yeah. oh yeah, and I don't, honestly like I didn't know this, but Mississippi State has literally everybody to ever have a name in basketball. Like it's what insane. Do you mean? So we were sitting there the other day. I was like, okay, they have Iverson Molinar, like. He's really good. He torched Kentucky last year. That was the only name I knew. And then we went, and I was like, oh, DJ Jeffries, which DJ Jeffries was committed to Kentucky, decommitted, went to Memphis, transferred from Memphis to Mississippi State. Yeah. So, and Kentucky fans, one of the best, if not the best fan base in college basketball. We remember that. So the fans, every time DJ touched the ball, we booed him. It was, <laughs> it was just, yeah. They have him, and he's good. Then they got Garrison Brooks from uh, North Carolina. So he's good. And then, like I said, Iverson Ball in our back. And then they have Rocket Watts, who played with uh, LaMelo Ball in high school. Like, they were loaded. Like, it was crazy. I was <laughs> Dang, like, Dude. that's insane. And I don't know how they're not better. I mean, they're good, but, like. They're not, like. They're not, like, insane, though. Yeah. Knowing they have all Avery of them, you, like, you would think they'd be. Yeah, you would think they'd be better. But. Yeah. It's kind of like the Lakers, man. You know, they got, they got all the talent, but can't use it together, so. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I mean, Russ just he's shooting the ball so hard. <laughs> the lower Kentucky football offseason news. Um, this was like, it might have been the day after the pot last week. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember what it was, but huge transfer from Alabama. Vaughn Baker, wide receiver. And like, honestly, with Bama, you could have played one snap, fumbled, you're still from Bama. Like, yeah. we're going to take you. Like, Anytime you get a transfer from Alabama. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's a big get for the Cats. And then uh, Cavassier Smoke, who was the backup running back last year, coolest name in college football, uh, announces he's returning for, I want to say it's just his, his normal senior year. Because, you know, there's like... Dude, I feel like he's been at Kentucky for so long. He started playing his freshman year, so like... Is it, is it, it... Today, Junior! <laughs> oh, my God. I <laughs> just stuttered my whole way through that. Uh, so is this gonna be, <laughs> is this gonna be a senior year now? I think so. Jeez. Yeah. Which he's nothing like crazy. Is he a redshirt senior? Just, I don't think so. Dang, dude. Uh, like I just feel like he's been there for so long. Yeah, I know he's a freshman in the 2018 team. Cause I feel like like five years ago, me and my dad went to the Tennessee game and we were playing y'all or whatever, and like he was there. All that I remember was his first touchdown, I think, was whenever we beat Wool 56-10 in the 2018 season when we got 10 wins. Yeah. That was the first time I remember it. So, I don't know. But, yeah, he, it feels like he's been there a while. But, like, he's just a good backup. Right yeah. Because back, with C-Rod coming back, obviously he's going to be right behind him. Yeah. But, yeah, so that would be cool. Got basically the whole team returning. Because now, you know, Somebody could be a senior, a redshirt senior, a redshirt medical senior, a super senior, <laughs> seventh year, eighth, ninth, <laughs> tenth year. Like, it's never ending at this point. It's so. crazy. Um, Tennessee football offseason news. Jackson Dart. Y'all might know the name. name. Big, big name, name. y'all. Yeah. Uh, I think it's crystal ball now. It's Ole Miss. I think everybody. that's what everybody's saying. Yeah, Ole but, Miss or Oklahoma probably. But Yeah, they're, Tennessee was talking about, you know, trying to – Get him, pull him in, roll him in. Try but, to snatch him up last minute. Yeah. yeah but, See what Hypo can do. Hey, Hypo might have some magic, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, we're trying to get him. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. Uh, A year ago today, Wednesday, big, big day. January 27th. 27th, a year ago, big day. Tennessee hired Josh Hypo. It's a great day. It's a big day in Paul's history. Yes. Wonderful coach, uh, amazing first year. Can't yeah, wait for next first year. year. Like I want the next year to start right now. Yeah, I can't wait till college football. <laughs> I know, oh, gosh. College football is so good, dude. It's literally the best. Well, NFL, 
Uh, we've mentioned it and hinted at it for a while. But, uh, I don't know, whenever we started the channel, we kind of thought we were going to be more college football. But, it's over. So, <laughs> NFL. And, we, we like, honestly, we just like football. Yeah. So, we'll talk about any football. Like, high school, college, yeah. NFL. But, so, a little NFL. Um, honestly, this, in my opinion, was the greatest divisional round of all time. Like, I don't really? see how you can top it. Yeah. Literally, I mean, dude, like, every game... Was literally a nail butter. Like, Insane. Down to field goal or a touchdown or overtime or whatever. Yeah. Like, so, uh, the Bengals beat the Titans 1916. Yep. Game winning field goal. Upset. Insane. It was an upset because the Titans yeah. were one seed. Then the 49ers beat the Packers 13 10. The one seed, again, upset. Game winning field goal. Then the Rams beat the Buccaneers. I honestly don't know if that was an upset. I don't, I don't, I don't know what they were. I think every game, the team that was hosting the game, like, at their place, lost. Like, I think every away team won. Because... The Chiefs won, though. Okay, well... Other than that one, yeah. <laughs> other than that one, <laughs> everybody that was supposed to win, or the home team, lost. I think yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, yeah right. Crazy. The Chiefs did win. But, but yeah, 30-27 to 27 was that one on the game when he field goal, which I don't yeah. understand how you let Cooper Cup get 100 yards on the seam to end the game, basically, but... That's why there are coaches and I'm not. Uh, <laughs> but, and then the Chiefs uh, beat the Bills in an all-time classic. That's one of the best games I've ever watched. Like, yeah. That, and it's like 2018. It was like Rams, Chiefs. That was a great game, too. But this is up there. Like, this is one of the best games I've ever watched. Yeah. Uh, but the Chiefs went 42-36 in overtime. Dude, that game was absolutely insane. And it was it was so awesome. I if I could rewatch it, dude, I feel so bad for Josh Allen though. Yeah, so I'm a big Josh Allen fan. Oh, I love Josh Allen, dude. I, he's such a good quarterback. Yeah, and he's, he's a great quiet. guy, great quarterback. Yeah, he's quiet too, so I like that. Yeah. But, so let's talk a little bit about this because I've heard a lot of debates on it. The overtime rule, in my opinion, is so stupid. Because it's getting ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. Yes, man. It's, this is ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. Like, the game literally ended on a coin flip. Basically, who wins, wins the game. Yeah. Which, is, yeah. which nowadays, offenses are, like, too dominant. Like, that's how every game is going to be. Like, you're not just going to stop. I, I think it should be more like the college rules. I think both teams should get a chance to score. Or change it to... You know, the amount of time in overtime, just play to the clock at zero again. You yeah. know, and see what that was. But then happen. they made a good point. Like, then if you get the ball first, you still kind of have an advantage because you can, like, run the clock a little. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's see, hard. There's... To, see, I think the way college used to be, because I, honestly, I'm not a big fan of what college is now either. Like, yeah. the two point conversions after the second one. But how it used to be with college, it was uh, start from the 30, and then you go in, like, how it is now. But. Then after the second overtime, then you still do the 30, but you have to go for two instead yeah. of kick the extra point. That's how I think it was the best. That's how you the best – that's how like, the best games happened. Yeah. Because now I feel like, I don't know, say like you have a dominant running back. All, you're going to win the two-point conversion battle. Like, yeah. I don't know. But I hate that the game ended on – you have that good of a game and then it ends on a coin flip. Yeah, right? I, th I think it was funny at the end, uh, Josh Allen in the press conference. He was like, yeah, if we would have won the coin toss, we would be celebrating right now, too, yeah. or something like that. Respect for that, though, because yeah. he's not lying. Like, they would have won if they got the coin toss. Yeah, I feel weird saying that Dak Prescott showed, though, like Josh Allen, but yeah. I do. He, he's a big fan. Yeah, so, yeah, I have been in the NFL team, so <laughs> I just completely unbiased. Like, I got, like, Josh Allen, I like Justin Herbert. Yeah. And I like Joe Burrow. I like him a lot. Hey, Joe Shiesty. Yeah. <laughs> Joe with many, many nicknames. Uh, but, yeah, so, upcoming this weekend, uh, so Rams 49ers and then Bengals Chiefs. And, honestly, which we didn't even talk about this, let's, let's make a couple picks for it. Because it's right. only two right. games. Yeah. So, I think, as much as I would like to see the Bengals pull it off, I think the Chiefs got it. And I think a lot of people are saying that. Yeah, I would like to see it. It's just, I don't know. I don't think, they're an O-line away from making that, like, a great ball game, I think. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I'll take the Chiefs by a lot, honestly. Like, I really? Feel, I feel bad. You don't I'll, think it's going to be close? Not that close. I think, I'll take the Chiefs 45-24. 
That's that's what that's my prediction in that one. So what, what are you saying, Micah? I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. And I I really like Jamar Chase, Joe Burrow, I like Zach Taylor. Like, yeah. I just don't think they got it. I don't know. I could be completely like I could be horribly wrong. <laughs> like the chief the the Chiefs could lose by forty. Like, yeah. I don't know. I just don't see the Bengals beat them twice. Yeah. I don't remember what the score was the first time, but... 29, 26 or something. Something like that. It was a game-winning field goal by the Bengals. But... Mm. I, I think... Score. I think it's... There's... I don't know. 34-31. 34-31. Yeah. I think it's going to be like that again, honestly. Maybe not that close, but I think they're both still going to score that yeah. much. I think they'll score... You know, 60 at least combined. Uh, so I, I think I'm going to say Chiefs uh, 35, Bengals 31. Something like that. 35, 31. Basically, yeah. just a repeat, just flip it. <laughs> Which the last game was at Cincinnati, so it could be the difference. Yeah. It's it being played in Kansas City now. Uh, but then the Rams, 49ers, and honestly, as much as like. I don't know. I I like a lot of the players on the 49ers, but I'm also taking the Rams in this one. Uh, the Rams, Rams are just I like. We both said like earlier, you had them as your Super Bowl pick, and then I had them yeah. winning or coming out of the. Before the season started, man, I said Rams are gonna win the Super Bowl this year. And I I called them making it out of the NFC. Like, yeah, I mean, we both kind of called it. Their defense, and honestly, since they picked up Odell, it takes a little shine, like. Like, it, it puts, like, you have to respect Odell more than whoever was yeah. in his place before. And so, they've got weapons. Like, I don't know. I'll take the Rams. I'll take the Rams, like, I don't even know. Uh, honestly, I feel like I feel like in the NFL there's just so many field goals. Uh, <laughs> and missed field goals. Yeah. So, I'll take the Rams 30-21. So now I like I'm, that. I'm, I'm I like that score. Yeah, I'll take that. I'm taking the Rams as well. Because, you know, it's my pick. I think they're going to do it. Um, yeah, I think they got to do it this year. <laughs> <laughs> they got to, man. Uh, I'm going to say 31-27. Yeah, I mean. Dang, I just predicted both games by four points. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, it's fine. It's fine. But yeah, like, like I said, I want to see the Bengals pulled out, but I just don't think their O line is going to do it. And with the Chiefs getting scared last week like that, like getting a little quick wake up call, I just don't see it happening. Yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. But mm-hmm. yeah, I just don't see the Bengals beating them twice. I don't know. The hmm. Bengals have had a phenomenal year, so yeah, that it can't take anything away from them. All right, uh, win or lose, well, if I lose. Still a great season by the Bengals. Yeah. Respect to Joe hey, Burrow. Joe Burrow is my comeback player of the year for sure. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. yeah, no question. No way around it. But Odell could be, too. If he wins the Super Bowl, he might get it. Because if the Rams win, yeah. I don't know. So, see, there's a lot of good players. Saquon, but he hasn't done amazing. Yeah. But, yeah, so I guess, I guess that'll about wrap it up. You got any closing remarks? Uh Oh. Back to Tennessee football. Sorry to backtrack. Uh, the renovations of the stadium oh, coming yeah. along nicely. It looks nice. It's looking nice. Uh, I hate that you know, not as many people can get in Neyland Stadium. I think that's what made Neyland Stadium. But it is going to be nice. I think. I think. Yeah. Everybody, it's going to grow on everybody. Everybody's going to like it. So, but that's it for yeah. me. Yeah, that'd be a really nice stadium. But well, how much did it knock it down though? Like, it couldn't uh, have been much. It, I don't think right? it was that. Much. Maybe still a few thousand. thousand. Yeah, still, yeah, still a hundred thousand. Oh, okay. But so, I mean, that's good at least. At least they'll still be like, I don't know the exact order, but they'll still be like top five. Yeah. So that'd be cool. But yeah, so I guess that'll do it for this week. Um, y'all enjoy some great NFL football and great college basketball this weekend. And uh, y'all stay safe and uh, have a great rest of the week. Hey, come look at this, bro.